Revealing text with character offset is one of the cool sci-fi ways to animate the text. So let's see how to do it inside Adobe After Effects. Alright people, let's just start by adding our text layer. Something sci-fi-ish like this. Make it center. Now let's open the layer and from Animate, add Character Offset. Now we need an expression here, so Alt-click on the stopwatch next to the Character Offset. Then in the Expression window type Wiggle. Hit Enter to select it, then type 1, 10 inside the parentheses and click off the Expression window. Now what happens is that the characters of your text will keep switching until the end. So how do we stop it to reveal the main text? Go to the range selector and you'll see the offset. Simply create two keyframes for it to begin at 0 and end at 100. And this is what it does. Okay, this was the basis of character offset reveal. After this, everything is optional and depends on your taste. First, under Advanced, you have Randomized Order, which reveals the letters randomly. You can also customize the random seed and it creates a look like this. Now, as you can see, when the letters change, the spacing between them or the kerning is messed up. To avoid that, if you don't like it, you can go to the Character Alignment and set it to Adjust Kerning and it'll fix the issue. Next you have character range. Right now the switch happens only between letters. But if you set it to full Unicode, numbers and signs will also come into effect. And I personally like it. Now for the fun part, how do we go from this to this? Well, all I have for you is a name and a link. The name is PXCRT and the link is in the description. But first, let's see what we're talking about. Right, it's a real deal, isn't it? Once you have the plugin installed, go to Window, Extensions, and open it up. Then after you're logged in, click on Build Preview to see what each version will do to your footage or in this case the text layer. The variety of CRT looks makes it difficult to choose, but let's go with number two. And see what we'll get. Hmm, tasty distortion. It's the one for me, so I'll close the panel. You can see that a single text layer looks so much better when we spice it up with a CRT overlay like this. I'm gonna open up the CRT comp to see what's inside it. Okay, these are all the layers that make up the CRT look. Obviously, you can edit the look by changing these layers. For example, I don't want this shadow speed layer, so I'll turn it off. And this is how it all looks. It's an easy way to make anything look cooler really fast. You can use the link in the description to get your hands on PXCRT plugin and make your own CRT looks. Enjoy!